Hi everybody, it's Melinda. John's here with me behind the camera. Hello. And we're here with a Thanksgiving recipe series to show everyone how to make nutrition, nutritious, plant-based, organic, alternative um, versions of traditional Thanksgiving dishes um, that we all know and love. Yes. And we're here to start with some sides, so I'm gonna be doing cranberry sauce today. Um, and this is a raw cranberry sauce. Everything is gonna stay completely raw. We're just gonna process in the Vitamix. It's super simple, really, really easy and delicious. So let's start. Um, I should say that you can also use a food processor. Yeah, you don't really need to buy Yeah, in, in case you don't have a Vitamix or a different blender. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna start with the cranberries themselves. Two cups of cranberries. This recipe is gonna make the equivalent of about a can, a 16 ounce can of cranberry sauce. Um, I have nine medjool dates here that I've split open and pitted. Um, you can differ the amount of dates that you use, so seven to nine medjool dates is what I typically do, but if you like your sauce a little sweeter, you could always add some more. Mm. Um, oh, and if you use deglet, you yes, just gotta if double you use up. Deglet dates, which are the smaller dates, then double the amount that I'm using. So instead of seven to nine, like I would say, 12 to 16. Yeah. <clears throat> and now we're going to also juice a fresh orange. And I find that I get about, oh, I totally cut that the wrong way, but that's okay. Um, I get about a half a cup of orange juice to a Valencia orange. So that's what we are going to use. This one is super juicy. Always um, get your juice out of the orange in another container in case the seeds get in there because you don't want to be scooping them out of the Vitamix or the food processor. Ooh, super juicy. It's a good one. Yeah, a really good one. Really sweet. Ooh, <laughs> really juicy. So this cranberry sauce is absolutely delicious. Um, it's really, really sweet and tangy at the same time. Yeah, it's amazing. Definitely better than the cranberry sauce I've had my life from the store in that can or even made fresh it definitely this has got a little more zing to it yeah and I think that's because the cranberries stay raw and a lot of other cranberry sauce recipes you they have you boil the cranberries mm. until they kind of burst I've made it that way in the past but this one keeps it raw so you get that tanginess from the actual cranberry so I'm just gonna and it's not this. nutritionally dead yes. like the one boiled so this is gonna be much healthier for you yes. guys all the enzymes are nice and active. Yep. Okay, so I scooped all the seeds out, and I'm a little shy of a half a cup of orange juice. So that goes in, and that's it. Now we're just gonna process. I'm gonna start slow and bring the Vitamix up because you're not gonna be able to hear me while it's running. So lower your volume you know. as well? Yes, yeah. um, but I'm gonna bring it up to probably about five, and then I'll let you see the consistency and what you're you're looking for, whether you use your Vitamix or a food processor. So lower your volume, here we go. We're gonna use the stamper. Probably could use a little bit more liquid, but it'll be really jelly-like. Now you can prepare this the day ahead um, and refrigerate it overnight, and it'll be oh my God, fantastic. Yeah. So You'll probably good. lose a little bit of the tang, so if you like it sweeter, that might be a good idea for you. Get all that off. Okay. So actually, this is perfect. Nice. So this consistency is. <clears throat> Not soupy, just kind of 
jelly-like, honestly. Kind of like what we're used to. Getting everything out of the Vitamix is always fun. Yeah, not always the easiest of tasks. <laughs> so as you see, this is just, it's nice, it's raw. All the new enzymes are alive. And it is so tangy and sweet and good. Delicious. I'm obsessed. Delicious. That's totally delicious. And it goes really, really great with the stuffing that we're going to be mm -hmm. showing you next. So I'm going to get the last bits of that out a little bit later. Um, so that's it. Um, really simple, really easy. The longest par portion of this is probably cleaning the Vitamix afterwards. Um, so we really hope that you'll give it a thought um, to turn the things that we love to enjoy on Thanksgiving into really nutritious, healthy, good for everybody, the planet, you and your family and friends. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, the next video will be some raw stuffing and I look forward to sharing with that with you and be well everyone. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Much love.